I bet y'all didn't even know that Assassination Classroom, aside from the episode 0 in season 1, like the extra episode, there was actually two extra. Episode 1.5 and 19.5 in season 2. Thank you to my community members that's let me know what's going on. We're going to be checking out 1.5 right now. And <laughs> the quality is going to suck. Yeah, I could find it off YouTube. There's not, it, it's, it's hard to find good quality versions. Bear with us, okay? It's right after season 1. So season 2, episode 1, right? <laughs> I feel like Nagisa has missed out an opportunity on wearing a yukata and them whoring Nagisa out during the summer festival. What do I want to be? Bigger in certain areas. Uh, is there even gonna be a future? My man got paid. He worked extra stalls for this, man. Who is he talking to? Huh? Who is that? Wait, a classmate is leaving 3E? Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. They have, no, they have kind of shish hair. It's not really colorful hair. It's pretty dark. I'm going to assume that it's going to be a character that's not really too much focused on during the regular episode. Here comes the NPCs. Actually, no, the NPCs got power creep because there's two NPCs that always showed up in season one, right? There's like a glasses one and another dweeb. But now they've been power crept by these four heavenly fucking kings who are also fucking a bunch of frauds. Because Asa Asano is basically the bulk of this group. <laughs> this guy's face, man. The big five, my ass. <laughs> Graduating class? That's the baseball guy, right? His friend? <laughs> No. Was it the guy, 3E, that said they're gonna leave to Sensei? Promoted to A? Is that possible? Wait, promotion is possible? Who is it? Who is it? Hey, Okajima. That's not Okajima. The, the person that had a little bit of hair. I don't know. It's really hard to say based on the minimal design that we've seen. Maybe a completely random character that is really in the behind the scenes. Megane? Also, the fucking his hairstyle does not even match the silhouette. You didn't even see the fucking glass silhouette either. But Megane? The fuck? Nah, it's a plan. We're being set up. They didn't do it because he's deserving of getting up, even though he is very competent. They're doing this to fuck over 3E some way. Asuna wouldn't be this happy about a 3E joining 3A. No way. There's a specific reason. Bruh. Is he getting blackmailed? That's just a lie. I hope he doesn't mean this, man. Asano. Boo! Fuck you, bunch of sheep. Yeah, right. You don't actually fucking mean this. All of these fucking sheep, all just clapping just because Asano did it, decided to. You don't mean this at all. You wouldn't give a fuck about Takebashi. Cap. Cap. Based on the way he's saying this, it's looking like Takibashi is not blackmailed. Like, this is actually something approached by Asano and he's just betrayed us. Something is definitely off. And the craziest thing is, we're watching this after episode 4 where Megane Takabayashi was so keen on participating with the boys and making this RC tank thing that's gonna peep on girls' panties. Like, 
He's part of the squad. What happened? <laughs> Erase the memories? What is this fucking men in black? You just fucking watch this and boom and you just lose the memories? They have that technology? Alright. Hey man, I'm glad you're enjoying that re zero content, man. I appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see about that. Oh, you do this. <laughs> no, he's not very physically gifted. He just made it. The fuck? He was actually low mark. I thought that he was like pretty competent in academics, but he just sucks at everything. Why would somebody that clearly doesn't deserve it get picked? What are they planning? Simply just to drive and like a divide in class 3E? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of like that too for a long time, where it's just like, I was never truly talented, and I thought that the only way to is just to grind, but it's also inefficient, right? No matter how hard you work, if you're not working smart, my eight hours of studying could be your one hour of studying. <laughs> you kind of some asking the right question. Mind telling me how you're cracking your tentacles? There's no bones in there. What the fuck is happening, Koro sensei? Very great question. Yeah, Kurosan said didn't even give up on Takibayashi. He tried so hard. Oh, shit. One on one with Sensei. He's not even worthy, though, the student. You should have taken, like, karma or some shit. Yeah. Basically that, right? But did it, was it specifically Takibayashi for whatever reason? Is it an arbitrary choice? I get why he did this, but why specifically Megane? It's all fake, though. You are giving them the wrong message because Takabashi doesn't even fucking deserve it. He's not even the top of our class. And you gave a fraud a way out, and now you're making other people think that it's possible from underdog to fucking like slum dog millionaire. But I what if Megane just fails and just like drops back to 3E? What kind of message that what, what does that send? Maybe that's the point. Maybe the whole thing is like, you know, you can go from, you know, underdog to back to the good graces, but at the same time, if you fuck around, you could also just be sent back. It's a dire warning. Yeah. Damn, it's the entire school. It's like a class. Yeah, what happened? They're holding your parents hostage. There's gotta be a reason. Yeah. He was great. Yeah. Wait, wait, when did this happen? I don't remember this OVA episode. What the fuck? Terasaka and Takebashi went to a maid cat fake together? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He wouldn't be big money. Alright, so it's not worth it to you? Bro, your family is fucking elite of the elite. You run, your family owns and runs a hospital? And your brothers from Tokyo University in Medicine? That is like the like, like a perfect Japanese track record of like a student to like, I don't know, elite status in terms of like academics, I guess. Fuck your family. They didn't care. Were they happy? <laughs> Looks like there's still hope for you. It's such a backhanded compliment. Oh shit, we're actually seeing Megan's eyes. I get it. Money doesn't matter. He just cares about being accepted by his family. <sighs> Sometimes that's important. Sometimes it's not. Because the family right now, I think, is pretty shitty. I don't think he should go in trying to earn their respect or favor. 
fuck them. They'll never see you eye to eye. They'll never see you for who you are. But the classmates actually do see you for who you are. And to betray them, to get the respect of your family, who probably doesn't even care about you, nor will they ever, is a foolish, foolish way of going about things. Thank you, Falcon, for that prime, man. Appreciate it. Maybe Kanzaki knows the best because she also kind of was that, right? Living a different life, something that she was never supposed to. That was in season one. Cursed. Well, there's no other way about it. Right? He will never return to class unless he literally just gets demoted because he fucked up. In today's episode, though, what is, what's going to happen? He needs to fundamentally understand that his family will probably never like respect him no matter what he does. So it's better to just live his own life and understand who he's all about and stop chasing after people that doesn't care about you. How do, how do we teach them that lesson, though, in one episode? Oh, damn, Koro-sensei. Looking fucking epic, bro. Just standing on top of a pole like fucking Sasuke fucking Uchiha Itachi. Koro-sensei, what you gonna do? Oh, shit, look at that aura, bro. Look at that eye. Koro-sensei,我自分たちは二軍選手に過ぎない私の教育は... Go back. What are you saying? 3E has willingly chosen to abandon 3E to join A. That must have opened their eyes to reality. You mean the rest of the kids that are not in E class. The reality that they are nothing more than second rate students at this school. Is this for 3E? That E class is a bunch of second rates at the school? That's what that is? He basically wants to put more E class down. Because like I was thinking about the logic of bringing up an E class student to A class. And if you think about it, what is he really, what kind of message is this telling? Like, think about this shit. Not, like, you are saying that E-Class will feel more hopeless because of this, because they're reminded that they're second-rate students. But I think the greater impact is how the rest of the kids at the main school now feel that it's not too bad to go back to 3E. Does, not, does this not contradict his philosophy? The fact that you have shown that a 3E can come back to 3A, this does not make the main school kids more hardworking. In fact, it'll just make them think like, oh, it, it's, it's like a comfortable reminder that, oh, even if I fall down, surely I can get back in, right? I feel like that mental, like, like, like that, that impact is way more significant than E-Class feeling that they're second rate. I mean, is it rational in every aspect? It would be if you actually chose someone worthy of fucking coming back in, but he also had to find a proper person that would actually have a background that would be willing to betray, I guess. <laughs> So what's the lesson here? That money is more important than family then? I know that that's not the way that we're going about things, but one could easily just like make the joke that like, yeah, you know what? 10 million is more important than the family. Fuck them. Uh-oh, he can't keep up? He can't keep up. Bro, take some notes. Takebayashi can't keep up, bro. You're gonna fall back down. Never mind. Never mind. It's not that we can't keep up, it's that the rest of the class is actually so poor compared to Koro sensei's teaching. Pretty much. What the fuck you watching, bro? What kind of fucking title is this? Sounds like a fucking degenerate light novel turned into an anime. Yeah? Was it great? We should watch it? Yeah. Look at that, man. 
literally going out of his way to make such dedicated, personalized, you know, methods of teaching specific children. Oh no. Oh no, is his favorite? He can't sing for shit. Nope, we don't want to hang out. We got to study. Yeah, school and then cram school, man. What a life. Big five. Party. Six girls, my ass. Make cafe. He's a fucking regular. <laughs> Takebayashi is a regular at this cafe. Look at the way he's sitting. I don't think I know you want to. <laughs> Fold it immediately. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Sensei? Exactly. No one at this school cares about you, bro. The teachers don't care. The kids don't care. The fact that you even made it here wasn't because they care about you. They care about just fucking putting E down, bro. You betrayed everybody that did so much for you. For what? To get the respect of people that don't give a fuck about you? Your parents? Your fucking A-class friends? Your, your quote-unquote friends? The classmates? The teachers, bro? Everything is so fucked up. Why are you doing this for the people that don't care at the cost of the people who do care? Oh? <laughs> Sorry. It's our crew. They care so much about him, they're still here. I see. The shrubs are more clean here and groomed. Aw oh, man, I feel like you're underselling yourself. I feel like you've definitely had your moment. Not every student needs to be like a Nagisa or like a Karma, right? You don't need to be like the main contributor. It's a teamwork thing. Good question. Now nah, you're asking the right questions. Asano. Oh shit. Asano. Oh shit. Oh Takebayashi the principal? Yo. I'm scared. Oh, I wanted more. This is a rare scene where, you know, Principal and, you know, Takibaichi would actually talk, but no. Nah. Off screen. Wonder what he's planning for him. Speech. Good. Good. Because there's a script ready for Takibaichi. But my expectation is that he will show his resolve and go off script, improv, and say good things about Class 3E. And completely backstab principal. Yep, that's what I want to happen. Nah, fuck the family. They're not even gonna show up. Oh. <laughs> of course it would be. What else would he fucking say? Wow, demonizing them. <laughs> I mean, he is Krasanova, right? His fucking code name. I mean, the violent students. Terasaka, I low-key can see him doing this, yeah. Gluttonous. What the fuck are these girls doing here? Just eating snack? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, who is the guy on the right? What the fuck is happening? The guy on the right, I think, is cross-dressing based off of the, the top he's wearing. But Okajima is straight up just fucking flashing. Yeah. The Sundere Sniper and fucking Hentai Pro Tag, bro. Oh man. Oh man. This soundtrack is so epic. I don't think he's going to be going to be going to be Nah, no, fuck him.
Asano come on the right shoulder too. They're too, they're tag teaming him. Oh, I thought he would. I thought father and son would become on the shoulders. He's so fucking edgy. You learn to act like the powerful. Bro, just the principal eternal fucking eighth grade syndrome chuni bro has beef with fucking grade nine kids look at the length that he is going to put these grade nine kids down and the best part perhaps is the epic soundtrack playing at the same time the chuni principal and like the super dramatic epic soundtrack is just just oh, amazing the powerful elite powerful at what who the fuck are our ops what are we fighting uh oh my expectation is that he will come through and in the middle of the speech, he'll say, nah, fuck this. This is wrong. And he'll say the truth, how he really feels. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Dude, this 1.5 episode is lit. I can't believe this is a side, like, OVA, quote unquote, like, not really filler, but like, this, this feels like main canon story. This is an amazing fucking episode. The focus, I guess, is really on Takebayashi. Rather than, I guess, the rest of the class, but like, this episode is amazing. <laughs> Bro, the rest of your face. Oh. What the? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What? It is you, though. You come in. And he's back. Great imagery. The chains of family dragging you down. Kill that. Will he be able to do it though? Speech time. Me too, man. That's a good sign though, actually. That's actually good. He will destroy something important to him. Again, that part of him, right? That's holding himself back. Let him cook. Let him cook. Tell him how it really is, though. Mm. <laughs> Cafe Mansion, bro. Look at that aura he had. There you go. Wow. That's right. He always goes beyond the call of duty for every kid. Yup. That's right. And why would we ever care to try trying to appeal to people who never accepted us? At the cost of people who has accepted us. Makes no sense. And now, right now, I'm surprised Principal right now isn't calling us and saying tackle him. Get that motherfucker off the podium. Cut the fucking mic. Somebody take him. I'm, I'm surprised they'll just let him do the fucking speech. I thought the principal himself might fucking actually show up and tackle the kid to the ground right now. I mean, shit, he showed up in the baseball episode out of nowhere. I'm surprised he's not showing up. Yeah. Oh, Asano's coming. No. No. Oh? Yeah? What the fuck? Is he about to kill the principal? <laughs> he, 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 wait, this is the best principal award? He stole the plaque? He could have destroyed it in front of everybody? <laughs> no. Oh! Exactly. Let's go. Takebayashi Gigachad. No, I think he just became powerful. Ooh. Oh, man. Dude, there's. Dude, Takebayashi just now has made Asano and his dad the principal beyond mad. I've never seen anyone make this kind of fucking impact. I mean, this is such a powerful moment, man. He just made both the most important fucking characters in the show pissed off. That show of dominance by fucking saying fuck your speech and like destroyed the best principal award. Damn. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. And we're back. 
<笑>ええ、すぐですよ。<笑> I wonder if this will actually matter in the actual like canon story for plot. Like Takebayashi, explosive, setup. Let's see if this is a flag that'll like pay off in the future. And that is another episode of Assassination Classroom. And I think that episode 1.5 that didn't get made into the official like like canon story episodes. This is better than most. This is an amazing episode that has so much high stakes, so much like mysteries, like a shock. How could Takebayashi be like, who is the person leaving class three? Oh shit, they're getting promoted to A. It's Takebayashi. Why is he doing this? And the good lesson of like, you know, people who don't care about you and you're tr trying to always appeal to them. But there's a people who do care about you and you're leaving them behind and Takebayashi coming into own terms and being able to kind of like free himself from the shackles of those chains that we saw through the imagery. Having an amazing moment, even stealing the fucking principal's plaque, the best principal award, destroying it in front of everybody, getting them both so mad, and then returning. And just... Fantastic. Just like, solid, solid episode. There's a 19.5 as well, so we'll be checking that out. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other episodes for it. Sorry, check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.